Hi guys, um, I just thought I'd stick a quick demo up of uh, this pedal board that I've sorted out now for my Arctic Monkeys tribute band, um, the Arctic Numpties, genius in it. Uh, so yeah, it's all pretty much finalised, we've done a couple of gigs, like short little 45 minute sets, that sort of thing, so we're looking at getting some proper gigs sorted soon. So I thought I'd just got a day off work, so I thought I'd go through the pedal board with like a fine tooth comb, and uh, get all the settings really nailed to be honest. So, just in brief, I'm still using the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. Um, it's a brilliant amp and I've, I've tweaked it a lot more. I'm a lot happier with it than what I used to be, especially the clean sound. I, I weren't a big fan of it at all, um, but I've, I've had a bit of a tweak, mainly because I can't afford to buy a new amp roll like that, so I've had to make it work, but it's a lot better than it used to be. Um, I'm using the Jag as my main guitar. I also use a Tele as like a backup to that, and I've got a Gibson Les Paul as well that I use for some of the... Uh, the newer sort of stuff that Arctic's do, like Are You Man, um, you know, and that sort of thing, the, the more riffier stuff. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll probably just walk you, walk you through it, I think probably the best way to deal with it. Um, excuse my shaky hands. Um, so basically, the guitar goes straight into the line selector. Um, send A goes all the way straight into the rotosphere. Um, Stupidly, I used to have this like further on down the chain, um, and then one time, just because it was the only way I could, only place I could put it, I put it first in line, um, and it sounds massively different. I didn't used to believe people when they said stuff like that, but it, it genuinely does sound a lot better when you you put it first in line. So anyway, straight into that, which is annoying because the input and the output are the, like the wrong way around. That's in and that's out, so it's kind of like backwards, but it's alright. It's not too bad. Uh, and then over to the T-Rex Mauler Overdrive. Um, and all that, Alex uses a Tube Screamer and that sort of thing. I, I hate Tube Screamers. I think they've got a really horrible like, mid-hump that they're, they're pretty famous for. Um, and I, I really don't like that. So I got this off a friend of mine, picked it up you know, really cheap. I think I paid about 70 quid for it, something like that. Um, but I like it because you know, you've got your overdrive. And there's also a clean boost as well. So any clean passages where I need to stand out, I can use that. Um, these little things that look like freckles or whatever all over it are pedal labels. Um, I'll show you over here. Um, these are absolutely amazing if you use pedals and, and different settings and stuff like that. Um, I got them from a guy in the US. I'd highly recommend using them. The the low tack so they don't ruin your pedals or anything like that. And you, you can just write them, they come with. And you can see, I think I paid about six quid and that's delivery from the US as well. And I've got an absolute ton of them here. Um, so pick some of them up because they're brilliant. Um, the the ones that would have suited this one wouldn't stick on. There were nowhere to put them, so I had to just use the single ones. But that's fine, you know. Um, it's got a voice switch as well. Come on, zoom. Um, so it's good for that like, changing between humbuckers and single coils and that sort of thing. But you know, I mainly play single coils. But that's a it's a brilliant pedal. I really recommend it if you can find one of them. Then grab it because uh, I reckon you'll probably never use a true screamer again once you've used one of them. Um, so. Straight out of the T-Rex, it goes into the Pulsar. I don't use that a lot, but um, for stuff like Don't Sit Down, uh, at the end of view from the afternoon and anything like that. Um, it's a, a brilliant little pedal, and I've had that one of the longest ones, and I'd never change it, you know. Um, it's great. Straight into the Real Echo. Um, again, you know, it's a pretty standard thing, obviously. I'll use one of them for a while. I think it's changed to, like, an old Boss vintage model thing now. Um... But soon as you can't find them for love no money, I'll just stick with that. Um, and then yeah, that goes out of there, straight into the return of the line selector. So that's like loop A, which is the green thing. Loop B is basically just the rat for the dirty sounds, again with the pedal labels on. Um, I don't know if that's any good, but you can see the settings I'm using there. Um, and then that's an MXR micro amp copy, um, just to boost for solos. So, the, basically there's like four sounds. There's that section, shitty camera, that section plus using the boost to get it louder. And then there's, there's rat and micro amp just for solo sounds, you know. Um, so then that goes back into there and then it's just input like I said from the guitar and then output 
straight to the tuner and then straight into the, the amp. Um, I've got that because if we ever get any big stages or like that I'm going to take um, my tiny tower and my little, I think it's a 10 inch speaker or something stupid like that, uh, just to fill the stage out basically. Um, but I've used this before, it's just one in and two outs basically. Um, you know, it's a brilliant little tool and nice and easy. Um, and yeah, it's just to fill stages up and look better more than anything else, to be honest. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Like, I'm not going to do sounds or like that. I might upload some later on. Um, but yeah, that's it. So just thought I'd stick it on. So it's jag, all that crap, into there. Alright, cheers. <laughs>